Hey gang, I'm headed to Ottawa, Illinois right now. Just got back to Chicago from Santa Barbara. And kind of an intriguing mission. I told you guys I was gonna do this, but I'm headed to St. Columba Cemetery in Ottawa. We're going back to see the grave of one of the Radium Girls. Remember that episode I did last year? And we were pondering, I was pondering at the grave, is there radiation coming? Now, from what I understand, they were reinterred, you know, they were blazing green and radiation, and they came back and they put them in lead line caskets. But I have to check that. We want to see very curiously. You see this device here? That is called a Geiger counter. Yes, that's the real deal. I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm crazy. So we're gonna go back, stick with me. We're gonna, when I get there, we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna see if we get any tick, tick, ticks at those graves or at, well, you have Catherine Donahue and I think the last name of the other woman was Looney. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we see. All right, gang, we are at St. Columba Cemetery here and we're gonna see if what's going on with the Geiger counter. So. First thing we'll do before we do anything is let's take a look at, the, I'll show you the Geiger counter itself and how that works. And let's turn it on. Now it'll start out at zero and then it's gonna slowly work its way up to probably between 10 and 20. Now as it's kind of settling itself in, you can see here there's a safety car. You hear the ticking? It's like a ticking going on. Well, there was, but anyway, if you hear the ticking, it, it, there it is. And then we've got this safety card and we keep a close eye on this. So we've got five to 50 is normal background, no action needed. And if it goes from 51 to 99, medium level, start getting a little worried. Over a hundred, high level, closely watch the reading, find out why. Over a thousand, get the heck out of there. Not good. And over two thousand, forget it. It, it call the government. <laughs> get out of there. But we're at nineteen here. Like I said, it's kind of stabilizing here at twenty. All right, I'm gonna kind of put this around my wrist, and we will let's let's go check this. Let's go to the grave. As we walk over there, let me give you a little science behind. Well, we're talking about gamma rays, right? So we're talking about the atomic level. We're talking about waves. We're talking about particles. We're talking about, well, on the particle side, we have alpha particles for, from, from uh, radium. And they're large, they're like helium. What does that mean? Well, they collide with oxygen and that means they can't really go that far. You don't have to worry about that as much. What you need to worry about are the waves, gamma rays, kind of like X-ray waves. You know what X-rays are? Gamma rays are a lot worse, well, for us humans. And they're really, really bad. So it's the same kind of thing. Now, gamma rays will just keep going. And it, we're talking about in these women's bones, gamma rays coming out, going, going, going. But the only thing that will block it, as I check the Geiger counter, so we're at 15 here, is lead. So like I said, it's they're said that the caskets, they had, a, they had a, initially buried them and then they had to come back and put them in lead line caskets. And we're gonna see what the effect of that is officially here on Faces of the Forgotten. I assume we should not get any readings. Now, as I stand here, we are up to 20, 18 to 20. Yeah, it's still pretty stable. You don't really have anything going. Now, this is Catherine Donahue's. This will be the first grave that we're gonna take a look at. And the reading I have here still 22, maybe a little bit higher. Let's see if it, anything happens as we get closer. No, it doesn't appear as, it would start showing. 
Now it's going up a little bit, 25, 26. Yeah, it's still in the normal range. Let's put it down here on the ground. Nothing. Looks pretty normal, guys. Very sad, Catherine is the one, you can see my episode on this. She is the one who, you can see the picture of her reaching out up to her kids just before, weeks or months before she died. They're all in that lawsuit. Now it's climbing up a little bit, but still in the safe range. 27, 28. Let's move it down here a little bit. And again, you see it has these air vents, so air can circulate through there. And we're right over where she is now. And it is pretty stable. It would be picking it up. And by the way, this thing, the way it works is, you will hear, the number will go shooting up, but you also hear, just like the old Geiger counters, tick, 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 tick. And I was watching a YouTube. Let's go to Margaret Looney's grave. It's right over this way. Rest, rest in peace, Catherine. I was watching a YouTube of this guy. You know, you, you get something like this. Now you can go on YouTube and see the unboxing, right? And all the, how it works. So I get on this YouTube channel. I sh I'll put the link in for you. And this guy, he's in his workshop in the basement. Nice guy. He's like, yeah, I got my Geiger counter because my wife has cancer and she just got radiation treatment yesterday. I'm thinking, is this what ha is this what goes on? I guess so. I learn something every day. And he's like, here's the reading. The reading is normal. I'm in my workshop. But she's on the other side of the house, upstairs. And then he says, let's walk over to the storeroom over there and let's see what the reading is because the storeroom is right under her bedroom. That's where she is. So they go, he goes over the storeroom and this thing's like going, da, 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 da. it's going off the charts. It's like, well, it's like 300, 500. I don't know what it is. You can watch the episode of the video. I'm going, holy cow, this thing works pretty good. But he's like, yeah, we got to stay away from her for three days. My son, the cat, everything. Is that what, I had no idea, gang. So I learned something new about that whole, how that all treatment works. Get yourself a Geiger counter. I guess these days that's, that's the purpose of this. But this thing works pretty good. So just up ahead here is Margaret's grave. Margaret Looney was another one of the victims. And you can see here we're at 20 pretty stabilized so those lead shielded caskets must must be working because the half-life of radium 1600 years and let me tell you they're they're not as much their it's their bodies it's their bones it's in their bones just like that jawbone you know the jawbone that the dentist pulled the tooth out and her whole jaw came out well he put that, he kept the jawbone in his pocket, and then I think he put it in the drawer. He put it with x-ray film, and like the next day or whatever, it, the x-ray film like developed, and that was like one of the first signs, like, whoa, what's going on here? So, it's really powerful, and like I said, 1,600 years, it's not gonna stop. And if they're not in the lead-lined coffins, you are getting radiation out here, which we are not seeing. Where it's pretty stable and you would be seeing it already. Now, maybe this is a good public service video because I've seen it, the other grave uh, and this grave, they have these hazard flags, but people should know if you watch this that it is perfectly safe here those caskets that are lead lined are working perfectly. So this is Margaret, daughter, 1904 to 1929.
boy, such a short life, so sad. Company greed, guys. But as you can see, there is no radiation here. Well, it was, it was something that was on my mind all winter. I wanted to come back here and do that, do this. Just found it interesting. So, all right, we'll leave it at that. Rest in peace to Catherine, to Margaret, and I'll catch you on the next one very soon. Good to be back to Chicago. Weather's looking good. Spring's here. See ya.